Hello, Ben and Rebecca here with His and Hers Alaska, and today we're going to share our favorite RV hacks with you. If you don't know what a hack is, it's something that makes life easier for you. So let's get started and we'll show you our favorite ones. We're going to get things started up here in the front of the motorhome. We pulled out the old style TV that took up all this space, and we were very pleasantly surprised by a 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet and there's also a regular old plug-in back there. Some people with woodworking talents could make something uh, really cool here, but we store our Yeti power inverter box and a catch-all basket. And down here, we have our Wilson signal booster. What this does is it boosts our cell phone signals so we're able to camp further out into the middle of nowhere. You might be wondering what we use since we got rid of the old boob tube. Well, we found a 12 volt DVD TV combination. This plays into another little hack that we have. We're big movie fans in this RV, and we live in Alaska where we're not necessarily at RV parks and hooked up to cable. So we take a lot of DVDs with us, and we have two of these DVD cases to keep our collection. Since we're talking about 12 volt TVs, we've gotten to be big fans of 12 volts. And in order to be able to utilize all of those things, we have to have places to plug them in. The TV here gets plugged into the dash. We also installed two outlets up above the fans for our cameras. Ben was also really nice and put one on the passenger side for me so I can plug my devices in when we're driving. We also installed one in the kitchen. It's a two port as well. We have a 12 volt crock pot and the next thing on my wish list is a 12 volt blender so I can make my smoothies in the morning. Last place that we installed additional 12 volts is on each side of our bed. So we have his and her plug-ins. And it really was nice because prior to this, we'd have to plug our phones and tablets and stuff like that into the front up by the dash and we couldn't use it for alarm clocks or look at it when we laid in bed at night. One of the things that used to drive me crazy when we were riding as the navigator was that I'd have a map out here, a tablet with Google Maps, my phone, my computer for work, the list goes on. And this stuff was just everywhere on my side of the dash. We found these matching baskets and I'll show you the other ones throughout the rest of the RV, but this one stays up here on the dash. We put something to make it so it doesn't slide underneath. And we can store all of the things that we need when we're driving, like navigation type tools up here and keep it nice and neat. Since it's just the two of us in the RV, we had a lot of wasted space on the settees and the back corners. So I found these two baskets. One we usually store food type items in and the other one we store paperwork type stuff in keeps everything in place and it doesn't shift around while we're driving. The last place that we use one of these baskets is here in the corner of our kitchen. This was terribly wasted space because everything would roll around if we put stuff back there. But now we can put fruits and other produce and we can also store bread back here. The more you drive down the road in one of these things, the more you realize you need spaces that contain items. We take vitamins, and so we did find this little basket from one of the major box stores. We Velcroed it to our settee table so that it won't slide, and we're able to store all of our vitamins in here. I have a similar basket on my bedside table for books and lotion and my Kindle. I'm not sure you'd necessarily call this a hack. It's something you find in almost every kitchen, but our RV didn't come with one from the factory, and there was an ugly plastic one in here when we bought it. So we replaced it with a pretty paper towel holder. Our next hack solves the problem of what to do with all these damn shoes. So we went into a box store and we found a regular old uh, coat hook rack. It works great. And fortunately, there was wood inside of this couch that I was able to drill holes into and secure this. One of our friends, uh, Generic Ramblings, they one-upped us by getting a coat rack that had a little shelf on the top. They have said the shelf isn't quite as cool as they thought it'd be because things are never really secure on there. But it is nice to have. If we had to do it over again, we would probably get one with a shelf. We also have a fetish for the command hooks. And we use these to store keys or dog poop bags. And then up here, we have hooks for coats on this wall and this wall. The bathroom is one place you really have to make the most of your storage and your counter space. 
So we installed a toothbrush and toothpaste holder that will work for our electric toothbrushes. It drove me nuts to have to reorganize everything every time we drove. So I found these little clear plastic things at a box store and were able to stack stuff in there and it doesn't fly all over the place. We also were able to keep Q-tips, face wipes, and dental floss in these little cups and not have the entire package out here in the medicine cabinet. Moving on into the shower and uh, enclosed bathroom of our motorhome, we decided to upgrade our shower curtain rod. This is awesome. So you ever go to a hotel and they got that curved shower curtain rod and it just feels like you have so much elbow room in there? Well, this does it for your RV. It makes you feel like you have a lot more room in here. And we also got this curtain. It's a regular household shower curtain, but we cut it so it was more appropriately sized for the motorhome. You've probably heard of Oxygenix shower heads. Yeah, they are that good. So totally just spend the 20 bucks and get it fixed. It makes a uh, night and day difference for showering in your motorhome. Then you can also see our command hook fetish going all the way through here into the bathroom, all the walls. What this does is it's great for drying swimsuits and uh, stuff like that after you've been out playing in the water. Moving into the bedroom, we got rid of that cheesy accordion style room divider and got a regular curtain panel and trimmed it up a little so it fit the uh, space here and it's a regular old rod from a box store and we have a more decorative, nicer looking room divider. There's several hacks here in the bedroom, but we made a separate video about how to get a better night's sleep. So I'm just gonna quickly share them with you. Make your bed longer by getting a four by six inch block of foam and putting it down there when you sleep. Fill in the gaps with another four by six block of foam. Charge your phones off the 12 volt power right here on your bedside. Don't lose your remote to your 12 volt TV DVD player. So from a girl's perspective, you need places to store stuff and there's not always enough room in the RV cabinets. So we installed a two drawer, little plastic cabinet and a basket that I mentioned earlier for all of my nightstand type stuff. And I keep my makeup and jewelry and stuff like that in the little drawers. The question every girl has to answer where to put your shoes. So I was able to find this at Camping World and hang it under a bed. There's a lip that covers it so you don't catch your feet or anything like that, but I'm able to store a minimum of eight pairs of shoes because it wraps all the way around my side of the bed. We hope these RV hacks help you get a little more comfortable and make life a little bit easier in your coach. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow our adventures. Share with your friends, comment below, and most importantly, enjoy the ride.